I think this is my spot right here. I think this right here will be my sleeping quarters. It is good practice uh, in bear country, which this is definitely bear country up here. Although, you know, I've never been bothered, you know, but nevertheless, it's, it's good not to eat and camp and right at the same place. And now I'll be able to light my fire and this will, I'll be able to carry this if I needed to carry it somewhere. Like if I needed to get out of the wind and light a fire and then bring it over to the fire, I could take a bundle like this, go back out of the way, out into a sheltered spot, light it up, and then carry it back to where my campfire is. So here's my little bundle right here I'm going to use. Now when you're burning needles like that a lot of times you got to, one of the tricks is you got to keep it compressed down enough so that once it starts then they can feed off each other and get the whole thing going good. So I'm, I've got a just kind of a green branch off of a piece of brush here and what I'm going to do is every time I handle this thing I'm losing more of it. So I've put that around it and I kind of cinch it down. All right, so I'll just kind of uh, twist this on around a little bit. And I can just uh, tuck it in down here. That keeps all this in a nice tight bundle. Starting fire. A big lighter. What we're wanting to do is let that flame aim up into the other layers here. So it gets up into there and it starts heating, preheating the stuff above it and gets that stuff so it wants to start burning. This stuff is actually fairly even though it looks dead, it's actually fairly green. You can kind of see by how it's smoking and reacting here. Well, I like to get me a pretty good fire oftentimes in the evening. Feel the cool air kind of flowing down through here. Feel good to have a nice fire and I like to get a great big nice bed of coals. So this fire will last a long time. I have plenty to cook with, but I want to cook over the fire. Well, you know, one of the things I really like about the clean canteen and these uh, cups like this glacier cup, this is the big one, the big kahuna here. I think it's like about a liter cup or something. We carry it on our website. The clean canteens, we carry, the, carry these on our website too. And this is the 48 ounce and uh, Really nice, it's very tough gear that you can use in the fire. One of the other nice things is that 48 ounce clean canteen will nest right inside this, uh, the big glacier, the big uh, GSI glacier cup or the, uh, or the regular GSI glacier or the Olecamp cups. All of them will fit, uh, will nest the uh, clean canteen. I really like them, they're very tough and durable. I mean, I use them all the time, and uh, believe me, they get beat around when they're with me. I'm not that kind with my gear <laughs> a lot of times, but this stuff holds up really nicely. So I, I usually always have uh, some of these in my truck with me, and I'll throw them in my pack or something if I go off somewhere. It's just nice to have some really durable, reusable equipment that's going to last you a long, long time. You can look right down into that clean canteen there and you can see that it's boiling nicely. And I'm not even in the flames, I'm just right at the edge of the coals right there. Another nice thing is uh, I love these little uh, Olecamp pot lifters. These things work so nice with so many things. I use them on all kinds of pots and pans and and uh, you know I can I can pick up this cup if I need to if that handle got too hot. I could always use the pot lifters to pick it up. It also works really nicely uh, for picking up the, the clean canteen here. Well, we've got us a nice little boil going on here in our uh, little GSI cup. And 
You know, one of the nice things, one of the nice things about cooking on coals is your gear does not get all sooty and dirty like it would over the flames of fire. Coals are very nice, being clean, steady heat. I should be good to go now. I just, I need a little bit of liquid. That's kind of why I did this. Ramen will be kind of some soup. Put a little hydration in me. Once again, the Ole Kemp pot grabbers make easy work of it. There we are, my Pero Mocha drink. Really love it when I'm out camping. Trying to figure out what what kind of firmness I needed in the foam for the beast. That turned out too soft. So, have that piece of scrap. I made a pillow. <laughs> it turns out it works just right for this. So anyway. We're ready to go. I have I have a couple bags here that some of my gear was in. And what I'm gonna do, I can do whatever I want, but I just lift up the beast a little, drop it down into the hood that as I mentioned before makes a pocket for me here and uh, so now I'm good to go. I'm ready for bed.